Hey, sir. Get back there and guard hey. Go, 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 go. Get through, get through. Hey, hey sir. Hey. This kind of effort's cute and all, but it's not going to win. It's always good to have a coach that has a worker's mentality. Looks good. Looks good right now, but they ain't going to win. Like when we're on the plane, he goes and still grabs luggage and takes it off the bus and puts it on the plane. You don't see a lot of head coaches doing that stuff, but like we take notice of that. You're touching right now. That's got, you got to go, man. You got to go. I think that mentality comes from my upbringing. I played Division III basketball in Hanover because I love the game. I knew after four years I was going to be done playing. I wasn't that good of a player. And I coach because I want to help people and I want to be around the game. Can I get this ball right here at the rim? Even if he's diving, bring my guy in here with him and now get out to the corner. Here we go. When I was leaving college, I set this goal to be a head coach by age 30. I was going to be 30 years old. And at the NAI level, the opportunity at IU South Bend opened up. That experience was awesome. Like they took a chance on me and the players took a chance on me. After two years, I had an opportunity to go to Butler. Brad Stevens is an unbelievable leader, mentor, friend. To have that experience alongside him was awesome. And then I had an opportunity to go to Purdue. I'm from Indiana. So the opportunity to work at Purdue, to work in my home state, to work in the Big Ten, those were like dreams come true. But then at the end of that year, Brad Stevens gets the job with the Celtics. Coach Painter told me he'd fire me for stupidity if I didn't go. And after six years, I felt like I had done my job. But I knew college basketball was where I wanted to be. And you know, once again, Coach Painter extends the olive branch to me and I get a chance to go back with him. You know, you want to be your own boss. You want to be the head coach. He could have done that in the NBA, but could he have gotten that opportunity? That was our whole game plan um, when he left the Celtics to come back to help us at Purdue, but also help him, you know, become a head coach. Hey guys. It's a really humbling experience trying to become a head coach because you feel like you've put yourself in position and then you get that phone call and it's like, we're gonna hire somebody else. Like you start to doubt yourself a little bit. Am I good enough to be a head coach? Am I doing everything that I think I'm doing? Where did I go wrong? Like, how did I mess this up? Probably at about eight or nine opportunities I had. It started to add up. It's hard. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in officially welcoming Michael Shrewsbury, Penn State head men's basketball coach. Wow, when I got the coaching job at Penn State, I was thrilled. It was a sense of accomplishment, but also knew like, this is gonna be a, a, a tough process, it's gonna be a journey, uh, but this is something that I've been aiming for for a long time. Now it's time to get to work. <laughs> In the debut of Micah Shrewsbury as head coach of the Nittany Lions, Penn State on top in front of the home crowd. There's a lot of things that you don't know going into this. As a first year head coach, you gotta experience some things to try and help you. I can go back from different coaches, but I have to experience these things myself and make my own decisions in terms of what I want this place to look like. Penn State got the right guy in Coach Shoes. He's just someone that attracts energy towards himself, and it's always good energy. It's always good vibes. I said it the other night, right? Gritty, not pretty. And that's who we want to be, and I thought we were that tonight. So gritty, not pretty. That's kind of who I've always been. There's nothing sexy about me, I can tell you that right now. You gotta get the job done, like in any way possible. That's what it takes to win here. I've been an underdog pretty much my entire life. Understanding that Coach Shrewsbury has been an underdog too and wants us to play with that grit and toughness. He's gonna push us to our limits and even past our limits to make us grow. People say if you're a first-time head coach in the Big Ten, you're not going to have success there at Penn State. Or uh, you should have waited. 
and try to get another job or something, whatever it may be, like all of those are motivating factors. The difference between excellence and mediocrity is commitment. Commitment. Let's do our job, let's keep doing our job. Grace Thompson throws it back out. Jackson Davis for the tie. It's all. And the Nittany Lions have their first Big Ten win. All week, I give them a quote before practice, and this week was the difference between excellence and mediocrity is commitment. And you saw some buy-in in terms of what we did in practice and how we competed today. So you're starting to see that commitment. People have to come in and like, you know, no offense to Dennis, but like, it needs to be a trip to the dentist. Long and unpleasant. And when you leave here, you're gonna feel it. That's Penn State basketball.